Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing a Don't Starve base tour. Um, we're at day 585 and I want to get right into it so it can be a little short. But um, first we're going to start off with the top of our base. So this is like our mini base where what happens is that if a giant comes from this area, they're going to have to go into this mini base. They're going to destroy these structures and they'll have to encounter these two traps before they can enter our actual base. Um, here's Glomer statue. It's how I farmed my Krampus sack which took a really long time but that's our mini base right there and then we'll get into our main base right below so then this is our actual base uh, where we keep everything um, pretty standard you can see where everything is uh, pretty easily um, I usually scale chests since they have more storage slots to keep my nice clothing and then this one has sewing kits then these chests have a fuel and I think this one has like some battle items this chest so just pretty standard stuff if you come down to the right of our base, you see our kitchen area, which should have some food in it. We have some spoiled butter. Uh, you see our storage area. You notice that we've cleaned out most of the ruins. We have a lot of thulocyte, and then we have a lot of gems from clearing out the ruins. So that's always pretty cool. Um, this is our trash can right here, our lure plant and eye plants. Pretty cool. Uh, here's our caves entrance with our bunny men. And then right below it, you have a fire farm that I don't really use anymore but it's nice to have a fire farm if you're really poor or something, I guess. Uh, here's our qualifant pen, one of them, and then we're gonna go down into our nature reserve. <clears throat> so this nature reserve uh, just keeps my beef low. Um, I get wood here, and then I have a pet cat right there. Uh, the pet cat gets a lot of cool stuff like feathers for me, so definitely appreciate her. Um, Glomer, Chester, Shadow Chester. Here's another qualifant pen. And then we'll come down here to our death area. So you can get these Houndius Shudiuses from going to the ruins and defeating the Ancient Guardian. Um, I did it three times, so that's why I have three uh, Houndius Shudiuses. And then with these tooth traps, I don't really have any problems with them hounds. So I definitely like my death pit area. Um, if you come down below, we have our farm. And we use our farm mainly to uh, feed our beefalo, um, our little pet guy, which is uh, good for him. Nice to walk with him. And then here's our mole worm farm. Um, not sure what's going on with that mole worm, but these mole worms basically supply minerals and meat uh, when I want to dig up the burrows or slaughter the mole worms. And then you see another pet qualifying inside. <clears throat> Over here, uh, we have our bunny men spider uh, farm. This is pretty intense, uh, the war between these two guys. And you can tell that we have a lot of resources accumulated um, from the spider farm, so that's nice. And we have one more qualifying. Oh god. My beefalo got annoyed. We have one more qualifant right here. Uh, this one's at low health. And then you have our pig farm or a pig area. These guys are pretty useful for labor um, when I want to cut down my trees and uh, get some meat out of them. Over here we have our honey farm. Um, pretty standard, just a honey farm. And then if you go up to this another storage area, we have our weapons and our sleeping meat epigene, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we have a lot of armor in here, um, gunpowder, other fun stuff, uh, battle helmets. I think we have a few dark swords here. And I think that basically concludes my base tour. Um, hope you all liked it. And I'll give you a view of the map if you want to see real quick. Uh, I tried to spend a lot of time decorating the turfs and make it nice so that my run through and my play of this game is more enjoyable. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone for joining and uh, have a nice day.